Okay, this is just a brief overview of the game. It is spring 1944. The last couple of winter turns have been fairly um, uneventful. The Axis players convoy attack failed uh, during the spring of 40, well the winter of 44 I guess it would be. Um, strategic bombing from the Allies did affect German replacements. Other than that, the battle in Italy is been won by the um, Allies. And we are still trying to take Malta, or at least bomb it, um, into submission or whatever, but um, there's really no need now since the Allies have basically air and naval superiority. Barbarossa has been somewhat stalemated, although the Germans are being pushed back gradually. Right now, the whole game is coming down to attrition because there are no more replacement points for the rest of the game, nor are there reinforcements for the rest of the game. So every unit lost um, becomes critical for either side. And let's see, we'll go over here to the west front where the early Operation Overlord was launched. And in a similar situation, although the Allies are making slight progress, the Germans are still in a decent position to hold out for a couple more turns, and this game will end in fall of 44, and we're right now in the spring. So the Allies and the Russians, who are actually part of the Allies, have basically the next three turns in which to capture as many capital spaces and major city spaces as they can. So with that I'm gonna go ahead and probably finish playing out the game and I'll come back and show you the results and I'll have a brief comment on the game and I'm gonna wrap it up then. See you in a little bit. Okay I'm gonna go live here because uh, I have a couple of important attacks to make. We're still in the spring of 1944. Um, like I said, nobody's going to get really any stronger. There is a fleet in the Mediterranean that I can uh, move the 8th uh, Army with, um, with uh, next turn. And I can also bring in another turn from... Uh, next turn I can also bring in another unit from the UK. I think all of the Axis airborne units have been eliminated so I don't really have much to worry about from them at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and resolve these three attacks and no they're not numbered one two three those are the odds. We're going to go ahead and uh, do the east front first. I have three to one against uh, we are going to attack let's see this stack and this stack are going to attack this stack at three to one odds I'm gonna roll two dice because I just feel uh, well just because I want to roll two dice I'm only gonna count the red one though it just gives me that extra little like I'm really rolling dice at the casino Three to one, red die is a five. That looks pretty good. That's going to be a defender retreat. Luckily, I suppose, for the Axis player, they do have a path of retreat. Do they want to go to East Prussia? Yes, I think they do want to go to East Prussia. So they're going to go over to here without wrecking the entire map board here. And they're going to advance with these two units. And we'll leave the other nine up there so I can reposition it uh, for another attack next turn. Okay, well, that was successful, although they would have preferred to uh, at least eliminate one or the other. 
of the axis units. All right, west front. We're gonna do the two to one odds there. It's basically a British infantry army versus a Spanish uh, army. Yes, the Spanish finally decided to make a show. They went up and captured Paris. But I'm gonna see if the Allies can um, knock them back. I'm using all the air for the the one to one attack, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is the number the two to one attack. They roll a three at two to one. That is a no effect. Well, that didn't go very well for the uh, Allies. Oh come on! I'm gonna have to wind up getting a new pair of tweezers when this is over with. And finally, we have the one-to-one. -one. This is going to encompass both the uh, strategic area unit here and these two stacks plus this stack. Okie doke. Well, this could turn out quite ugly for the Allies, but you know, I have to make a, I have to make the attack. I need a breakthrough. So, red die will be the controlling die, and it's a six. That should be pretty good. The defender loses one unit. Well, that's going to put us in a bit of a quandary because what I have is an SS army here, an aircraft, and a fortification. I don't want to lose the SS, so I guess the fortification. Is it the last thing that goes? That's going to be a drag. May I have to lose the air. Forts. You can disband the forts. I forgot all about that. They're in a supply phase. Let me see. The fort's eliminated and as it cannot retreat. Let's see. Sixes roll one across. Let's use a DR. Retreat. Fort's eliminated. And a D1 result is. Defender loses one replace. Oh, that's strategic warfare. Sorry. Defender loses one unit. Didn't say anything about a retreat. I don't know if you can take a fortress as a casualty. But um, just in case you can't, I think we'll eliminate the air unit. Um, that makes sense enough to me, I guess. In the air battles. Oh, that's not it. Where did I put it? Hmm, we're missing an entire uh, Luftwaffe unit here. There's that one, there's that one. He was down here. Okay, where did I place the Luftwaffe unit? Oh well, I'm sure it'll turn up eventually. Um, so that's going to be it for the moment. And we have a couple more turns. We're going to see how they uh, turn out. Catch you in a little bit. Okay, here we are with the last turn of the game. It is... The fall of 1944. The game does not uh, go any farther than that. Oh, uh, let's see here. This is Berlin. It has a five-five infantry army, and then the um, 310 uh, air force there protecting it. I think I have given them a defense enough that even with an armor, even with an armored breakthrough say, hey, can't see over here. We'll go to the west front. Sorry. Um, with this armored unit, even if they do, and they most likely will, blow through this unit, the best they can do is enter this hex, and that puts them two hexes from Berlin, even with the double advance. Over here on the Russian front, these two Russian units are going to attack this uh, northern German army. I think it's got an armor of four and a two in it, so it will most likely crumble. But even at that, there is a small uh, land, uh, small bit of land here that connects to this, so the best they could do, well, the best they could do is just advance here. They have no armor. Surprisingly, the entire uh, tank armies of the Soviet Union have been destroyed as well as its uh, Air Force. So basically there's two big attacks this turn. Neither I think will um, take out Berlin. I think the Germans will hold uh, 
Hopefully they'll assassinate Hitler and sue for peace. Uh, but who knows? The game doesn't allow for that. So, um, we're going to do the uh, Soviet attack first. Five to one. Pretty much anything but a one. Pretty much anything but a one will uh, keep, uh, well, D1s. It just doesn't say that they they retreat, and yet they're worse than a DR. Uh, but that's all it says on the combat results table, so that's what we're going with. I guess if you take a lot of losses, you're just going to stay in place. Five to one, using the red die here. Ooh, roll a five. That's going to be pretty good. That's going to be a D1. It will not give them the space, though, because I will lose the uh, Luftwaffe unit and maintain the army unit there. Like I said, I don't know why it doesn't uh, specify. It doesn't say that they have to retreat if they get a D1 or D2 result. So, whatever. The Soviets fail to basically even uh, take much out of Poland. So the German army holds in Poland. And now, for the uh, West Front, it's going to be 5-5 five five against this lone uh, Waffen-SS unit. Waffen-SS. Uh, it should pretty well signal its death now. With all the aircraft and all the other units around it, it pretty much is going to, well, it could retreat, but we'll see what happens. Red die. It's a two on the five to one. Defender retreat. Oh, boy. One of the last two uh, attacks by the Allies have not really borne much fruit. I guess we'll retreat back with the DAK. The DAK um, was trusted with the defense of Berlin. And even if I do advance, oh, say, this armor unit, which can go, what, one, two, will advance into here with these guys. Come on, come on, come on. I'm still kind of um, unsure about that rule. I need to double check if uh, armor can advance two hexes. That still leaves the hex behind it open, and you can uh, put as many units as a stacking limit allows. So I'm not sure if there's a, some kind of problem with that rule, or if it just really makes it uh, the Blitzkrieg really powerful, which it should be. Anyway, the game turns with the uh, end. End. The game ends with the Germans in control of. Uh, <laughs> Moscow. They came to the outskirts of Moscow. Um, with the Germans in control of Berlin. So I just really need to count up all the little circles to see if uh, what do we got? Two player game. The Axis has to have at least 15 to survive. Minor victory would be 25 and a major would be 35. So it's going to take me a little while, but I shall be back, and we will see who the official winner is, I guess. Okay, well, as it turned out, according to my math, it looks like both players got a survival um, as their victory conditions. The Axis player got night, uh, received 19 points for their uh, conquest of various cities. And the Allies conquered 23, or received 23 uh, victory points for their cities. So as we can see on the old victory level chart, neither one of them uh, had enough for a minor victory. So they both fell within the uh, uh, survival victory level. So, and that's about how it was when it was played out on the map at the... I'd, the counters all scattered all over hell and back. But uh, that's pretty much how it turned out on the map. Uh, neither one seemed to have a decisive edge. The Germans probably, or the Axis probably, could have taken a few other cities that were just left open, but they really didn't have the resources to do so. Anyway, that wraps up uh, Second World War by 3W. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll play next. I have one on my other table that I need to at least start uh, getting into, and I'll probably play another small one on this table. 
I don't think I'm going to play games, you know, start to finish. I think I'm just going to take elements of games, go through the components, basic rule systems, using just that portion of the game, and just kind of give you a, a look and feel of the game, uh, how the systems work and all that type of stuff. Um, just because I think that'll be easier on me, and you won't have to hear me blubber and stuff as much. All right, talk to you later.